Welcome back Age of Empires 4. I wanted to make a video going through all of the units, buildings, and upgrades that are available for the Holy Roman Empire and Age of Empires 4. While there are some things that are unique about this civilization, most of these mechanics will be pretty consistent through all the civilizations. So if you are new to Age of Empires 4, this should be a pretty good start for you to get an idea of how the mechanics of the overall game uh, kind of feel. Now, let's dive into it. So I've built a beautiful Sim City here, and I actually had quite a little bit of fun doing this with some extra resource. Uh, no enemy on this map at this time, uh, but let's go through the buildings. Now, the first thing I will note is it is somewhat difficult to tell the buildings apart sometimes. Um, there aren't icons above them to necessarily tell you what they are. Some of the buildings that are more recognizable, of course, are the, are the taller buildings. Like you can look at this one, kind of figure it's a cathedral. You could see that this is definitely an archery range. But for some of the other buildings, it can be a little bit more challenging. Like, yes, you can see there's a horse there. It's probably a stable. You can see a big smokestack there and some flame that might be a blacksmith. But just in general, I think it's a, a little bit challenging to know what all the buildings are. So, um, Taking a, a closer look at these will certainly help you with distinguishing them uh, and whether they're your buildings or your enemy's buildings you're sieging so you know what's going on. So we're gonna start from top to bottom. Okay, over here we have our town center which is your starting building. You're able to train your villager, your scout, and your prelate for the Holy Roman Empire which is kind of your monk that is a little bit unique to this civilization. You can also research textiles, which will increase the health of your villagers by plus 25. Now I've trained these units all right here. You can see we have our scout, we have our villager, we have our prelate, or what you might know as a monk. And this is actually our trader, which should look familiar from Age of Empires games. This is from the market right here. The market does not have any upgrades for this civilization. So pretty straightforward building. Okay, let's go to the top corner. This is one of my wonders I've built. Um, so this cathedral does not have any upgrades. Uh, this is obviously a house, does not have anything. Uh, here's our monastery. There's a lot of upgrades of the monastery and these may be unique to the different civilizations. Uh, here, you're gonna of course train a prelate or a, a monk. You have herbal medicine, which increases the healing rate of prelates by 100%. Increase the health of prelates by plus 40. Relics placed in a monastery provide an income of plus 30 food, 30 wood, and 30 stone every minute. Very good upgrade for the late game. Inspired warriors. Prelates can inspire military units, improving their armor by plus 1 and damage by plus 15%. Uh, devoutness. Inspired villagers gather resources plus 10% faster. Now the inspire, as it says here, is unique to the Holy Imp Roman Empire. And you can see that a little icon there uh, will, will show up for any of these texts that are unique. And inspired villagers construct plus 15% faster. Okay, so those are all the upgrades at the monastery. Next, we have the uh, the tower, or the outpost, rather. Now, the outpost, you can upgrade to a, a fortified outpost by uh, selecting that as plus 1,000 health and plus 5% 5 armor, fire armor, but it does cost 100 stone. You can also add arrow slits, which adds defensive uh, arrow slits to the structure. Can only only one weapon and placement can be added. So you can choose between these three that are available as you age up. So early on, you can get arrow slits. Later on, you can get a spring gold emplacement, and then and finally you can get a cannon emplacement. So uh, kind of be choose when you're going to upgrade these because it's going to stay for the rest of that game. Okay, for for right now, I'll add on a, a cannon. You'll see pop up there in a little bit. Okay, we already went through the market. Uh, over here, we've got our our palace. Now, this is a a, a uh, landmark palace that I've built. Let's go through our, our traditional palace, which looks like this, or the keep. And you can see you can add those two emplacements similar to our outpost, but it also has boiling oil, which, as you can, can guess, is a defensive upgrade you can get. Also has slate and stone construction. All buildings gain plus five armor and increase the health of walls, towers, and gates by plus 40%. Okay. So those are your defensive upgrades as far as these two buildings. Now you'll also notice a building out here. This is actually a stone wall tower that I have built onto the wall. You can actually get units up here by using this tower and it adds a uh, a bonus to them. Prelates can, uh, can place a relic within to improve the building's armor. Plus 50% is a bonus here for the Holy Roman Empire. You can see the tooltip for this building. 
Uh, heavy defensive tower must be built on a stone wall segment. Infantry can use the tower to access top of the walls. Um, and so, yeah, they look pretty cool, too. I really like them. Okay, now coming over here, let's rotate the camera just a little bit. We have our stable, our barracks, and up here, our archery range. Okay, at our stable, you can upgrade uh, your different units. Now, I'm not going to go through these ones in depth because this is going to be a little more particular to the tech tree of which civs are able to get all of the techs for uh, their military units. But just know from left to right are the different units that are, are going to be available through the age, um, like with the exception of the scout there. Uh, and a few of the upgrades for them, which should be pretty easy to find out. For the, for the Holy Roman Empire, you've got a lot of infantry upgrades because they specialize their, their mana arms can be super strong if you get uh, these few upgrades here uh, for their units. Um, and you can also uh, upgrade uh, your spears by a lot there, plus three there in the final age. Okay, so that's your barracks, your stable, you get your upgrades for your knights and for your horsemen. Those are the two units they have available. And at the archer range, in the final age, you, you get the cannoneer, which is a gunpowder unit. And then you also have uh, your crossbow and your archer with their uh, respective upgrades. So those are three uh, main military buildings. In addition, you have the siege factory, or the rather the siege workshop. And uh, these units are quite interesting. You have the spring gold, the mangonel, the trebuchet, the bombard, and the culverin. These are my favorite three to make. Uh, the counterweight trebuchet, the bombard, and the culverin. Now the culverin is going to be an anti uh, an anti-siege unit, uh, siege unit. So it's good for taking out uh, enemy uh, mangonels or trebuchets that are, are coming towards your town. And I'll show you all these units over here. Okay, so here is the bombard. Here is the mangonel. Packed up, of course. I don't know if I can unpack them without a unit being here. Um, let's see what it does here. I don't think so. Oh, you can attack. Can you attack ground? Ah, there you go. So there we go. That's what it looks like on tech. There's the culverin. Oh, it's going to get really noisy if I do this. Get out of here. <laughs> and then lastly, here's our spring gold. Can he attack ground? Looks like he cannot attack ground. Hold on. I got to get these guys to stop. <laughs> this is going to get really noisy. <laughs> okay, so those are your siege units. Pretty cool. Um, what is left to go through? Uh, we've got our, our mill. Let's go through all of our economic buildings. We've got our mill has, uh, several upgrades you're going to want. You have, uh, the wheelbarrow, you have the, the, your upgrade for farming and you have hunting upgrades with the most unique one being this professional scouts on the far right. If you get this tech, it allows your scout to go out. It'll can kill a deer that's far away from your town center. And then he can pick him up and bring them back, which can be very useful. Uh, so pretty cool uh, tech right there. One minute until wonder victory. So I might as well show you, I did build a wonder here. We are unfortunately gonna delete it for the purpose of this video, so it doesn't end. But uh, there is our wonder in all of its glory. Goodbye, wonder. And in case you're wondering of what that costs, it costs 3,000 of each resource. So obviously pretty expensive building because it ends the game. Okay. Now, another building uh, that I kind of think of in tandem with our blacksmith is the university. Um, this is available in the final age. It costs, uh, what is the cost of this university? Uh, 450 wood to create. And it has some rather expensive uh, tech upgrades, but they're going to really give you that upper hand, especially if you can get to the fourth age and get these techs before your enemy. Okay, so I'll go through each of these. Elite army tactics increase the health of all uh, melee infantry by 10%. And their damage by plus 10%. Incendiary arrows increase the damage of ranged units and buildings by plus 20%. Does not apply to the gunpowder units, those cannons or those, those siege units. A biology increases the health of all cavalry by plus 20%. So there's kind of your each basic unit type gets, gets their buff. Plus, you also have a chemistry, which is going to increase those gunpowder units. You've got court architects increases the health of all your buildings. Look at that. And a geometry decreases the damage of ramps and trebuchets. So do not neglect this building in the final age. It might be the moment when you're having the most fighting going on or re of your army. So spend the time to get those upgrades. Also to note, uh, the blacksmith and the university have upgrades that affect your ships in different ways. I created a, a naval upgrade guide on YouTube. So be sure to check that out on my channel where I go in the in-depth how these different upgrades are going to impact 
your navy. Okay, we went through the mill upgrades. Let's go through the, the lumber, lumber camp upgrades. You got forestry, which will help your villagers chop down trees faster. Doubles the rate. And double broad axe increases villagers' gathering rate for wood by 15%. Of course, with all these economic buildings, you're going to get uh, additional layers of these upgrades as you go through the ages. In the mining camp, which will, is how you drop off your stone or your gold, uh, it, you have an upgrade for your specialized pick. And with that, I think we have covered all of the buildings. Let's go through the last units. We covered those units over here. Here are the archery range units. I'll zoom in for you. We've got our, uh, this is just our light range infantry, or our archer. This is our hand cannoneer. That's our, our last available unit. And our crossbow. So this is the three units you're gonna be able to train here. Um, if you're playing the Abbasid Dynasty, you're gonna be able to get the, uh, the camel rider which is also an, an archer type unit. Okay, over here, this is from the town center. We get a, actually I, I, stay, I trained this from the stable, a light scout. We've got a horseman, which is your basic uh, kind of light, uh, light melee cavalry unit. It's a little bit cheaper, costs food and wood. And your knight, which is gonna be your expensive, uh, strong, uh, heavy melee cavalry. And then over here are the units from our barracks. We have our early men at arms which is uh, a, actually a, <laughs> quite a strong unit right now. Our spear, which is going to be cost uh, uh, wooden food, is going to be good against killing uh, enemy cavalry. And our lance neck, which is a light melee infantry. It's unique to the Holy Roman Empire, um, and he does area damage. So together, those are all of the units we have here for the Holy Roman Empire. Let's see if we can get them all to group up here together. There we go and all of the buildings and technologies that you can build or train. So hopefully that helps and good luck getting started with the Holy Roman Empire and Age of Empires 4.